Hello everyone, my name is Andreas and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about what's been on my heart for the last few days. I want to talk to you about a whole lot of shaking that is going on in our world today. We look around us and even entire nations are being shaken. Political and financial institutions are being shaken. Individuals, families, marriages, even the whole church is being shaken. And we ask the question, have you ever asked what is going on? Who is doing all of this shaking? Well, the Bible is very clear about it. In Hebrews chapter 12, we read that God is speaking and God is shaking not only the earth, but also the heavens. And we're going to read Hebrews chapter 12, beginning with verse 25 through to verse 27, in order to base what I'm talking to you about today. See that you do not refuse him who speaks, Hebrews tells us. For if they did not escape, who refused him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth. But now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Everything that can be shaken, God says will be shaken, so that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Friends, if we are to survive this shaking and save ourselves years of work and labor being wasted, we need to build on foundations that endure the test of time. God, I believe, is calling us to reevaluate not only what we build, but also the material we use and how we are building. In Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 and 4, God gives us the three foundation pillars of building on an unshakable foundation. Here it is, Proverbs 24, verse 3 and 4, and I'm reading from the Amplified Translation. Through skillful and godly wisdom is a house, a life, a home, a family built, and by understanding it is established on a sound and good foundation. And by knowledge shall its chambers of every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Here they are. These are the three foundation pillars of building on an unshakable foundation. Number one, wisdom. Number two, understanding. And number three, knowledge. Wisdom is the architect that provides us with the blueprints for a successful life. Understanding, on the other hand, strengthens and establishes what we build on a sound and solid foundation. Through knowledge, we are enabled to fill every chamber of life with all precious and pleasant riches. Things that are precious in life can only be obtained by knowledge. Riches that bring pleasure rather than sorrow are also obtained by knowledge. In all the years of walking with the Lord, these are the things that I desired the most in my life. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. I want to conclude my message to you today with a short prayer from Colossians chapter 1. Can we please pray together? Thank you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those who are watching this YouTube video and I thank you for everyone who is participating in this blog. I pray that you would grant and fill each and every one of us with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and in all spiritual understanding so that 
we may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him and being fruitful in every good work. Father, we pray that you would strengthen us by your Spirit in our inner man so that Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith and that we may be rooted and grounded in the love of God. Thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, thank you for viewing and listening to the message that the Lord laid on my heart, and I trust I'll see you next time. Goodbye.